government considered death penalty for rape offenders. Here, guys, we got deprioritized. Please make sure you like and subscribe so that the algorithm plays like, oh, because when I say that word, YouTube is like, naughty words. We're going to suppress your video. So you guys need to like and like hit every, all the time, all the, do all the engagements. So it basically adjust for that. Okay. All right. Let's see what this is about. Islamabad. The government is considering very uh, various changes in the present uh, set of rape laws to introduce the death penalty for rapists of children and women whose cases involve aggravating factors. Wait, just the rape of women and children. So if you rape a grown-ass man, you're not going to get the same punishment. It is also considering setting up special courts and making the offense non uh, compoundable i don't know what that means uh, a key cabinet member involved in the progress of drafting guys there's a space missing between let me let me zoom in for you guys there's a space missing here the process of drafting the, these uh, proposals again english is not my first language and i'm noticing errors in this thing, in this article these proposals confined to the news Oh, this this is the brand of the this is basically the article the website that we're reading uh, that the proposal of chemical chemical castration is also being included, but wow, what the hell? But with the caveat that castration will not cure the criminal mindset uh, of the culprit, who would still be free to hurt anyone in some other manner. Okay, this is some biblical level crap. These proposals. It is said to do to it is said do not include the option of public hanging, but might suggest televising the hanging. What the hell of the of the hanging of such culprits directly from jail to create a deterrence? So wait, so they're not going to do public hanging, but they're going to hang them on TV. This is not going to. The people who are going to be watching this are people who are just sadistic people who are interested in that kind of, you know, this is basically, oh, my God, this is going to attract the worst kind of people to watch. They don't, I, I don't think this is going to do what they think it's going to do. This, oh, my God, this is so gross and disgusting. Ew. However, it is, they're going to do live, live TV hanging. This is like, what the hell? However, it is clarified that these proposals, maybe they, are they going to show it like on Facebook Live? And I mean, they, they wouldn't be able to. But holy hell, this is, the, I don't think they understand that they're going to create more problems with this. The people that are going to be tuning into that are people that have psychological issues themselves. And you're basically feeding into that. Like who would, what, who would, who would tune into that? Like, oh my god, yeah, let's watch a public. Oh god, aren't there guys? Correct me if I'm wrong. Isn't there like a crap ton of studies that shows that these deterrences they don't actually work? That capital punishment doesn't work. The people who do these things, this doesn't have an effect on them. Like, isn't there study after study after study that shows this? Correct me in the live chat. However, it is clarified that these proposals are subject to change as they will be first discussed within the PTI uh, in a day or two. I don't know what that is. They would then be uh, tabled in parliament for discussions and debate before they take final shape as the will of the majority. The set of proposals being prepared include making the offense of rape non-compoundable again i don't know what this means which means that oh finally there is definition which means that the party's concerns cannot reach a compromise to drop the case oh okay okay so even if you are involved in the case even if then the victim if the victim says like i think the punishment is going too far i want to forgive or something like that they were like nope nope sorry there is no way you cannot come to it. Like maybe like if the if the person who did the harm, who did the rape, 
could be like, I'm going to give you some this much money for for you to let this go. And if the victim says, okay, fine, I kind of need the money. Uh, I, won't, I won't press any charges. If you pay me, like, they're like, no, 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 you're getting hanged. Um, again, I'm not, I'm just saying what they think this means. I'm not passing any judgment right now. Um, guys, if I'm not noticing your live chat, it's because I'm reading this article, but I'll make sure to pay attention to the live chat right after I re finish reading, okay? At present, the, at present, the offense of rape does not carry the death penalty. An amendment is now being proposed that the death penalty will be handed down to the rapist of children. Uh, the same punishment of death is being proposed for those who rape women, where the rape case includes any of the ag aggravating factors. Okay, I mean, isn't this in Pakistan and everything is supposed to be based on Islamic law? Didn't Muhammad rape a child? I mean, based on these standards, Muhammad would have been hanged live on TV if these laws were... Yeah, Muhammad. So okay, so Muhammad would have Muhammad would have been hung in today's Pakistan, in an Islamic country. Good to know. Uh, in rape cases where the offenders uh, when the offender gets a life sentence, it would now mean jail for life or imprisonment till death. In cases where rapists get jail terms for a specific number of years, no remissions would be allowed. Uh, convicted. Rapists will not be entitled to any kind of remission or pardon. According to another proposal, rape cases would be investigated by... Uh, what the hell is this? What the hell is this? Gazette. Oh, Gazette. Gazette? What does that mean? Mm, announced. Okay. Announced. By announced po uh, police officer... Uh, preferably a woman officer, to ensure a speedy trial. There's a suggestion to set up special courts for rape cases. My God. I mean, isn't the whole... Why do you need special courts? Wasn't the, so, the already existing courts... You do commit a crime and get punished for it? Like, I think these... I think these people are virtue signaling. Like, it's just a court, man. Like, you do a crime... Why do you have not? Do you have like special courts for murders? Like, isn't like murder also like a very? I don't understand. These people are virtue signaling. I think people get you know. I mean, murder is also uh, rape is really bad. Murder is also very bad. Do you have like special courts for murder, separate from all other crimes? Again, I think these people are just trying to be like, look at me, I am the defender. Like, yeah, I, I think so. I think this is something about something else. Uh, oh, it means a high-ranking officer. Thank you, Har Harsha. Rape victims usually find it very traumatic to appear in court. Oh, okay, actually, never mind. I take that back. It might, it might be, it might make sense for you to have... Uh, a special court for rape, okay? Rape victims usually find it very traumatic to appear in court. In particular, the cross-examination in an open court can be highly embarrassing and distressing to the victim. Okay, yeah, I take it all back. Yeah, maybe it makes sense. Maybe it makes sense. I don't know. Maybe it makes sense for you to have a special court for rape victim. To help a rape victim defend her case without being subjected uh, to further trauma, it is being proposed that the victim will be cross-examined through a video link. The rape survivor will be allowed to cover her face in the in the courtroom. Only the judge, court uh, the judge, court staff, and lawyers of the two sides would be allowed to witness the proceeding. Hey, I actually like this part. So uh, everything else before this sounds like a nightmare. But like like live hanging of people like that is like whoa what the hell? But let's be fair to Pakistan. This seems like pretty good. Like special cases for victims for that they don't have to relive the trauma that they had to go through. This is this is, yeah. Let's get guys. Let's give credit where credit is due. This is a great. I think this is a great suggestion. Uh, the government is considering 
presenting these proposals before the PTI parliamentary party for discussion and then to table the amendments in parliament by next week. It is also being, I hope like this part gets passed. Can this part get passed separately? Can you like not mix this with the rest of the nightmare that you were suggesting upstairs, up, <laughs> upstairs, up, uh, uh, higher up in the article? Like, can you like, can this be a separate proposal that they vote on? Because I like this part. Um, it is also being considered to leave it to the conscience of individual members of parliament to decide which amendment. Oh, yeah. Look, as soon as I, <laughs> right, <laughs> right after I said, it is also being considered to leave it to the conscience of individual members of parliament to decide which amendments they support rather than voting according to an official line set down by their political party. Oh, okay, no, never mind. That's something else. Okay, let's see what the top comments are. Again, look, Facebook is an Facebook is so stupid. Look at this. I want to see what the top comments are, and the top, the highest comment is giving me forty-one reaction. And I have to scroll down here to get the one with two hundred and thirty-one reactions. Why is this not one on the top, huh? Why is this like this one got two replies, this one got thirty-eight replies? What is up with Facebook? I don't know. Facebook is stupid. Facebook is stupid. You hear it here, guys. Actually, let me zoom in because you guys cannot see any of this. Okay. Oh, no. I hate this comment. I hate this stupid comment. Somebody saying, I'm Randall. You're, I, think, I think Randall is going to start being an idiot. Okay. Let's see what this Randall is saying. Randall is saying, I'm 99% against the death penalty for the reason that I wouldn't want to give a government the power to kill its own citizen. The 1% is there are crimes that definitely deserve the death penalty. I just don't trust any government to figure out which ones actually deserve it. You're a moron, Randall. The whole point of the justice system is not revenge. The point of the justice system is to prevent future crimes. What you think people deserve or don't deserve should not be part of the calculation. What deters future crime, what deters future crime, the justice system shouldn't be there to satisfy our desire of revenge. The justice system should be that. How could I reduce harm in the society? Does this deter crime? Does this protect citizens? Or does it not protect citizens? What they deserve should be irrelevant. It should be, hey, if we do this, less people commit crime. If we do this, more people will commit crime. If we do this, it doesn't affect people committing crime. That should be the calculation. If studies show that capital punishment does not have an impact, on people committing less crimes relative to other forms of punishment, then we shouldn't do capital punishment. If it shows it does, then you do a cost-benefit analysis, and maybe you do do capital punishment. So far, the studies show that it doesn't. So the other one person, when you say, I'm 99% against that death penalty, then you're not against the death penalty. Okay? I am against the death penalty. Um, Soha is saying, I will never support death, the uh, death penalty. Locked up for life and isolated cell is a better sentence than death. Again, it really depends on what studies show. Again, our emotion, some people, okay, here's another thing. By the way, AJ, thank you for reminding everybody to like and subscribe. Yes, please like and, like and subscribe. I heard another form of this argument, like, guys, do not, do not kill them because they deserve worse than death. Like it's a harsher punishment. Like these people have, they need to suffer in a jail, right? Like death is too good for them. Like again, again, it's not about them suffering. It's not about us look, like looking like being like, oh yeah, they deserve it. Oh yeah, suffer, suffer. I want to see you suffer. It's not about that, okay? It's again, it, even if you put somebody in prison, life sentence. It's more about isolating somebody that we know is a harm to society and making pr protecting the rest of us from them, putting them in a place where they can't harm anybody. That's what's more, I mean, it should be about, okay? Um, Yes, I agree with Smith. So anything, yeah, it's pretty fuck it's pretty fucking creepy. Oh shit, I shouldn't be swearing. God damn it. It's pretty creepy to hear people lusting 
for the suffering of others. Yes, yes. I hope. And by the way, Soha, I wasn't suggesting that you were saying that. I'm just, I, it just reminded me of that. I'm guilty of the suffering in prison argument. Oh, okay. Uh, Luke is saying, sorry, guys. Oh, okay. Yeah. Luke has to go. No worries. You don't have to apologize if you have to go. All right. Let's look at the next news. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why, what has, what's holding you back, okay? If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also, if, you, if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah. You we think is no, and oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff, we want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic, and YouTube is like, no, nah, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic, and YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So, to solve that. Link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well and share, share our videos because you know, we do get demonetized. That's an obvious on every one of our videos. So F that, but we don't care about that anymore, <laughs> but we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritized. What does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right and all that, you know, on the, on people's homepages. And that's how channels grow. Unfortunately we can't grow. So we need you guys to share our videos. 